Attention gamers! Riot Games recently announced the release of their Vanguard anti-cheat detection system which means that hackers and scripters and people who use aim bots and stuff will be banned which also means my chances of hitting challenger this season are slim to none. So my next strategy to climb was to focus on getting better psych it was to hire someone giga chad to duel with so that I wasn't stuck trying to carry teammates like this. But this would surely upset Gyarados 10 if I showed a convenient site where you can access teammates with 20% off 3 orders using code RAV20 so I instead figured I would hire a coach off that site instead. But speaking of Gyarados you see when you spend 10 days of your life making a PAL world video where you use only Pokemon soundtracks because your dumbass thinks it would be ironic. It ends up not being a financially smart decision so I asked Tappan if they would be up for paying me to promote their site but I say they have to rebrand away from boosting because I don't want to upset Gyarados and they said deal. But then I said on second thought I have a better plan, a more evil plan. And that was to hire a booster and then try to lose the game and that's exactly what I did. I queued up and got Jungle Gapper with a perfect rating so I complimented him we joined Discord and then he kindly starts telling me that his goal is to make me a better player. Like I will try to help you in the voice comments tell you what we can do together stuff like this. When to play safe, when, when to play aggressive, when to roam, stuff like that. I feel bad that I'm about to ruin this innocent dude's day as he immediately is opening up to me about his favorite shows. Have you watched Naruto? And talking about his family. My father works in Riot, you know? And telling me what the tattoo says that he got on the strip of skin between his scrotum and his anus after hitting Challenger the first time. League is life, League is love, League is the future. And when he hovered Belveth saying she is his favorite. I find this the most enjoyable one out of any, anything. I knew just what I needed to do. <laughs> Before revealing that I myself will be playing Bard mid. The other randos in this rift posse aren't into it so after wasting 5 minutes of everyone's time someone decides to peace out. I obviously can't mistakenly ban his pick again so I let boosty boy play his bug and I think of other ways I control him knowing he's probably used to carrying bad players. I constantly play, I play 25 games per day. We get into game and he instructs me what to build as if Bard mid is something he sees every day. Doran's blade. And I immediately disregard that as you can hear the confusion in his silence. <laughs> then he tells me to ward. Do you want to maybe ward here? You can ward it. Ward this bush. To which I just do a warm up lap instead telling him to piss off as I'd like to save my vision. Oh, okay, okay, you can save it. I tell him to interrupt his clear and come mid and watch me bait for him. I'm watching. Then I never do as I'm just trying to waste his time. But he apparently doesn't need me and gets the gank on Draco Malfoy all by himself. My plan at this point was to tell him that I will invade jungle with him so he would pick a fight with David Blaine. Yeah, we need to punish him bro, what's little bro allowed? Only to leave him and let him die but the dude is Smurf City hey. USA in the 1v1 so I change my plan to try and steal his kill instead before he says this. Oh careful with the... As I make no effort to be careful and gladly accept my one way ticket to Fountain. I figure if I follow him around the jungle stealing his camps he get triggered but I have worse timing than a synchronized swimming routine during a shark attack so I end up just leashing him which lines us up for an undeniably irresistible gank path mid and while the best troll would be for me to have backed off. I settled for the consolation prize of saving my ignite for that dubstep tick to steal the kill from him. But I'm actually playing too good so I execute a gank and a 1v1 attempt that will make people in the stands think I have eyeball tumors which doesn't go good doesn't go bad but I promise I will dick over my top laner soon enough. That said you'd think my bot laners are in on the trolling as well considering they are about as useful as a chocolate teapot but it just means I have the perfect opportunity to ride the fuckboy express straight into a bad decision to make sure I get the shutdown instead of boosting butterfree over here. I'm watching, I'm watching by the way. It's at this point where I question the sweat marks he's leaving in chat that he describes as. You know in GTA 5 you get some codes that get you like a tank or stuff like this. I'm doing basically the same, I'm timing their flashes for myself, so I can gank them when they don't have flashes. But the next time I force a losing off. gank up top you can tell my hired hitman was hovering just waiting for the exact moment to swoop in and be the hero but I had other plans to prevent that from happening.
<laughs> okay, you can't learn without making a mistake, you know? And my next ult looked slightly better but the damage was done considering I had 90% health and their stun mid had 4% and he still sucked me dry like his name rhymed with Rana Hodes and I decided to celebrate my death in the middle of 3 enemies who were closer to death than the NALCS itself. Despite my trolling I do want to get my revenge on their soiled tampon of a mid laner but he's got all the fun tricks so I decide to put my own GTA code in chat. I see lanky Lucifer up top looking like he could use a rinse off in fountain and while the right play would be to wait for the wave to crash I decide to deliver myself like a big blue baby out of this walls asshole fire a cue at Timbuk2 and then have to ult myself just to stay alive. But you're so good at this children's game what? But intentionally or not, there is a mid gap present in this one. Oh. And every time he gets a pick on their card dealing shit stain I fuck boy tunnel in the wrong direction before trying to steal the kill. Oh. Only to flame him when I fail. It's fine, you know, I'm a jungler man. I'm, I'm kind, I need to be selfish, you know. It's like built into me. He says he's gonna avenge me. Okay, I'll take vengeance for the Aatrox flashing onto you. But what he doesn't know is that I'm going to quote unquote purposely die again to Draco on the way up there to watch it. Oh? That said I have to convince hey. him that I'm trying my wet dick off here. Mm. But, you got me, but right? really it's just so I can get a kill before he dies. You got me actually call you. And as long as smurfing Samuel isn't around to benefit from a kill I'm totally down to put my obese elderwood fuck foot on the gas pedal and try to time another kill steal, only to fail. In comms I'm trying to say it's a loss to trigger him psychologically but this man is untiltable. Play game win for sure win with your out attacks and AP for sure we kill someone. My contributions at this point involve running around with no plan until I get caught up in all kinds of satanic shit which leaves me real close to being sent to hell permanently only to eventually regroup and steal all the credit and receive my vocal blow job in comms. Well played man. And while I defensively like to say I purposely fed their mid laner, I think Riot actually deserves the problem. credit for this particular bullshit. Their ADC has put all her eggs into the gaining ELO basket after consistently failing in the gaining female attention basket which means I need to turn our statue into a trophy to combat her efforts before calling her a tryhard in chat. This hits a sensitive chord but I don't see how I can possibly lose this argument while I'm playing full AP Bard. But regardless I don't play this game to win I play this game to pick petty fights with strangers online and then try my diabetic dick off to win fights against them specifically so that I can type more to them afterwards. Oh, insane on mid lane play. And for a second I forgot that I should be trying to make it harder for my duo to win this game. Insane ultimate. Let's see. Well played man. You get him too? But you're so good on this Baltar. Clutch, coming in clutch. But after a clutch Baron I told him to fuck off when he said to back out which got us wiped and successfully lost us the game, making me and my fucked up head feel like the hero for sabotaging a booster that I spent my own money on which also by the way was in my placements but then I felt kind of bad when he said this. I mean man, let's, let me offer you a makeup game bro. And I could tell he was beating himself up over the loss. I'm watching my gameplay at the moment. Maybe I tried to fight too much around bot lane and our bot lane even though I trolled him, so for game 2 I decided to play, another troll pick, all while he was opening up about the time he got drugged when I asked if he's ever been to a sex dungeon. Once, once in my life, long ago, but I don't remember anything. This game starts out with me showing that I'm absolutely not going to be fucking around as I get into a slap battle with a frolicking fawn before we light each other on fire and I pull out a clean first blood. And then Jungle Gapper 9000 Super Soaker Big Dick Energy over here tells me to beta fight south and that's exactly what I do which ends in us reversing the Mr. Beast effort of Team Trees by a count of one before I make like a baby in a delivery room and head out of this bitch. I knock her off here and we leave her. Just like this, in the dust. Then I figure it's probably a good time to introduce their bot lane to my honey covered 6000 pound disco ball before making sure I have a timely chomp to prevent Mr. Gapper from getting the gold. We secure an objective together like brothers but then he says this. We shouldn't fight here by the way. And you are Kesha levels of crazy if you think I'm going to listen to him because deep down I know I'm about to do Kesha levels of damage. Ah but, but you're uh, putting me to shame bro. Legit putting me to shame, what is this damage? 
and troll pick or not I was gonna go full-blown kamikaze into the bot lane, stopping for a quick bite of sashimi as an appetizer to the main course of a failed highlight reel. Oh my god, almost, almost. You, you still get him, you still get him. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, oh, imagine misfortune healed you there, bro. But my duo is all about the strategizing. You gonna save me tower. You gun, I protect me. And what I heard from that was I should deep dive my disco dicking balls into tier 2 turret and die for the sake of a useless kill. That said I've got to say we were making a good team. I'm gonna put her to sleep for you, okay? He would engage then do all the work and then I would Zamboni a bitch to take the kill credit. But it's champ! <laughs> oh, and my and risky gank her. angles with no regard for if I die or prepare. not were actually starting to work for us. And double knock up? Imagine cuddling with Bellweb. That's a weird thing to say bro. But then he was under the impression I was actually going to listen to him. Oh, let's let's go bot lane together. Let's go bot lane together. You, you want? No man, come on. Hi, ah, you're ruining this friendship, man. Going to kill whole enemy team now. Which obviously went just about as piss poorly as you would okay. expect all while he had the entire Kentucky Zoo with him doing his dirty work. And then I had to give a tribute to my homie trackpad Nunu on this one as I drifted into a whole lot of goddamn nothing before backing out hoping for a big bait only to realize I'm the one getting played. But something about this friendly man and him still being nice to me after all the shit I put him through just made me want to try. To lose even harder, so even though I went back to my roots by running it down mid not once, but twice. We still ended up winning thanks to Mr. Jungle Gapper. You're still, I, I can see your feet, you're still here with us. So at the end of the day I feel conflicted. Was I the villain of the show by hiring someone to queue with, or the hero by trying to sabotage their efforts? We will never know but you can put yourself through the same dilemma and get 20% off 3 orders with code RAV20 and let's all thank Tappan.gg for allowing me to now go make another demonetized Pokemon PAL world video. RAV out!